It is now time for the Memphis 901 TV newscast with anchor Brendan Ward. Good evening. My name is Brendan Ward, and I am the anchor for the Memphis 901 TV newscast. Let's get right to the news. According to WMC Action News 5 staff, Memphis police are searching for 12-year-old Jaden Thomas. Thomas has a mental disability and was last seen around 10 in the morning Thursday near Shelby Drive in Hodge Road after arguing with his mother and leaving the house without taking his medication. WM Section News 5 staff described Thomas as a black male about 5 feet 2 inches tall and 115 pounds. He was seen wearing a white t-shirt with New Orleans rented on the front, blue pajama pants, white socks, and no shoes. The police want you to call them if you see him. A Shelby County Sheriff's Officer Corrections Deputy has been injured in a shooting Friday, according to WMC Action News 5. Memphis police officials say the shooting happened at an apartment complex on Treasure Island Drive. The victim is a female and is in critical condition at the Regional Medical Center. According to police officials, the suspect is 15 years old and is the daughter of the victim and is charged with attempted first-degree murder. The victim actually just graduated from the Corrections Academy Thursday night and was shot Friday. Memphis police officials has not released the names of the victim or the suspect yet. Mid-South teachers are getting a pay raise after the Shelby County Board approved their budget for the next school year. According to News Channel 3 staff, the board members asked the county officials for a $1 billion budget that they approved during Tuesday night's meeting. News Channel 3 staff said the upcoming school year budget will focus primarily on pre-K education. Also included in the budget is a 2.5% pay raise for teachers. A pile of burning cardboard caused the recycling facility to evacuate. On Friday afternoon, Memphis firefighters were sent to a to battle a massive fire next to Reed Community Warehouse building. According to WMC Action News 5 staff, fire officials say the massive fire started because a pile of cardboard caught on fire next to the warehouse. WMC Action News 5 staff says that all of the employees made it out safely and one firefighter was treated for heat exhaustion. A cell phone was the cause of a Memphis house fire earlier this week. According to WMC Action News 5 staff, the fire happened Wednesday morning at 11.25. Firefighter officials say the house fire started because the phone had overheated while charging. The house didn't have a working smoking alarm, according to fire investigators. WMC Action News 5 staff said no one was injured during the fire, but the damage is worth $55,000. After a recording session with another artist, one Memphis artist has a big price to pay. In a North Carolina courtroom, Memphis rapper Yo Gatta was given a $6.6 .6 million default judgment, according to TMZ.com. According to a judge's order obtained by TMZ, in 2016, Gatta received $20,000 to sing on a track with Young Fletcher. Gatta didn't release the song and recorded another song similar to the one they made together. Last year, Yo Gatta was served with a lawsuit but never responded to the suit. Young Fletcher manager attorneys told TMZ that they'll go after Gotti's cars and his mansion to collect the money if they need to. TMZ said they reached out to Yo Gotti but haven't heard back from him yet. NASCAR K&N Pro Series Memphis 150 was hosted at the Memphis International Raceway Saturday, according to WMC Action News 5 staff. Chase Cabri won the race, which makes it the second straight year that a red racing driver has won the Memphis 150. And now it's time for the Memphis Positive Spotlight of the Week. This week's Memphis Positive Spotlight goes to fallen soldier Tara Turnick. Governor Bill Lee recognized Turnick during a Memorial Day service earlier this week. According to WMC Action News 5, Turnick was killed in a vehicle accident in 2018 at the National Training Center in Fort Iron, California. Tara Turnage's mother, Laquita Darnell, was recognized with a gold star. Turnage was awarded the Army Good Conduct Medal and the Army Commendation Medal and was posthumously promoted to private first class. Now let's take a look at the 
how the weather's going to be looking for the rest of the week, courtesy of WMC First Alert Weather App. It's currently 79 degrees right now. The high for today was 90, and the low is going to be 72. On Thursday, it's going to be scattered rain and storms, so make sure to grab the umbrella. The high is going to be 83 degrees with a low of 71. Looking forward to the rest of the week, as you can see, Friday through Sunday, it's going to be more rain and thunderstorms happening possibly on Friday and Saturday. So make sure you bring your umbrella those days as well. For Friday through Sunday, it's going to be in the lows 80s with the lows in the lower 70s. That concludes this week's edition of Memphis 901 TV News. I'll be back next Sunday with the latest news, weather, sports, and more. Have a great rest of the week.